if you have been feeling a disconnect between the message that you're sharing and what your audience is hearing, I want you to stay with me for this edition of Let's Talk Business Growth Live. Hey there, I'm Stephanie Treasure, online marketing strategist and business mentor. And here I am with another edition of Let's Talk Business Growth Live. And this one is titled, Try This One Simple Hack to make sure that your marketing message is crystal clear. All right. So if you are in a place where you have been on phone calls with members of your audience, you've had conversations with them, or they'll reach out and they'll ask you a question that doesn't quite relate or does, doesn't quite relate to what you do, or it's questioning what you do, or they ask you to, if you provide a service that is way off the board from the actual services um, that you offer, or the programs that you offer, the way that you help people, or if, again, you found yourself on phone calls with members of your audience, and they are a little bit confused as to exactly what it is you do. If that has happened to you, chances are your message is not as clear as you think. And it could be that when you started business, everything, you know, persons understood what you did and you didn't have this issue come up, but you may have evolved and persons are not clear on where you are now. And they're still asking for beginner type or entry level type services, although you're serving at a higher level right now. So this hack that I want to share with you that will help to make your marketing message crystal clear applies to you no matter what stage of business you are. So if you are a seasoned or established business owner and you've been doing business for uh, you know at least over two or three years and you've worked with several clients, or if you're beginning in business and you're trying to find your way, you feel like you do know your niche, but again, you've been coming up across that disconnect. Persons are not quite sure. It seems that like they're, not, they're not quite sure what you do. It's possible that your marketing is not clear and um, you need to you know, sharpen that up in order for people to hear you, in order for, for persons to be able to, to relate to you, to resonate with your message, to feel moved to take your calls to action, right? Because if your audience feels misunderstood, they're not going to want to move further because if you don't get the problem or understand the problem, it's going to be perceived that you don't have a solution. Although, that could quite possibly not be the case, right? You, you, you know, you, you're helping your audience, you have worked with clients, you know how to help them, but they're, they're not getting it because your message is not as clear as it should be. So the messaging piece can be a little bit of a quagmire for some people. Um, they're not quite sure um, if they're on point, they're not quite sure if people hear them, they're not quite sure how to express what they do. These are some of the issues that I help my clients with, right? And I wanna share with you this simple hack to help you to make your message more clear or at least see if your message is clear. And then you're gonna have to do the work to get it clear, get to clarity, right? So the hack that I want you to try is to ask a friend or colleague that is a non-business owner, somebody who's not a business owner, somebody who's not a marketing expert, to review your online presence, specifically your website and your social media platforms, um, how you're showing up in your bio, the kind of posts and content that you're sharing. Have them just do a, you know, a basic audit, you know, possibly read your last three to five posts on your key platforms where you're showing up the most. Uh, possibly watch a video if you're doing videos, read a newsletter, look at the bio in your profiles, look at your website, right? Have them just look at your content. And I would say less so your website and more so your social media profiles because on your social media profile, you know, you have static content and you have your about me and all that, that stuff. And people can read on, read about that and get a feel for what you do. But the messages that people are seeing daily or regularly, 
is your changing, evolving content that you put out there, um, again, whether it's daily or weekly on your social media platforms. So have them review that, right? Have them review your presence on your social media platforms and ask them if they get a feel for what you do based on the content that you share, right? Somebody who is a non-business owner, because when I, well, this is what I help my clients with. So I know how to put my thinking cap on or my business uh, mentor cap on and be able to properly do an audit and give them true feedback on their, on how they're, how my clients are showing up. But when you bring somebody who is a non-business owner into your space and just have them from their standpoint, just take a look at your platforms, your bio, your posts, and hear your voice. And when I say hear your voice, it doesn't have to be a video or a live stream. I mean really hear, hear your voice from your content. Ask them to relate to you what they think you do, right? And, you know, expand on that feedback or possibly have a talk with them, have a conversation with them and take notes or record that conversation after they've had a chance to review. That candid, non-businessy feedback is going to be powerful intel for you to get a feel for whether or not your message is crystal clear. And I'll help you to take this even further. If you're watching this and you are a seasoned business owner, and even if you're not a seasoned business owner, but you do have a community, you do have an audience that is following you in a meaningful way. Persons um, in a Facebook group where it's private and persons can feel free to express themselves or persons that are subscribed to you via email. Ask them a question along these lines. What is one thing that you think I do to help my audience? What is one thing that you think I do to help my audience? Or what is one result you believe that I help, that I can help my audience to achieve? What is one result that you believe I can help my audience to achieve? Very simple. And again, this is a great question to ask if you have an engaged, uh, if you have a Facebook group, right? And this, or you can ask this question via email, right? And watch the answers come in and hear what people say. And you have solid feedback right there as to whether or not your message is coming across clearly enough. Depending on the answers, you'll know if, um, you're on the mark, or if you have work to do. But at least you'll know having this knowledge would lead you now to be able to do the work that it takes to sharpen up your message, fine tune your message, and truly um, create a message and a voice and a brand that speaks to the powerful work that you do so that the people who need your help can be sure that you're the one that can help them and will be that much more thrilled in the opportunity at working with you, right? So that's what I wanna share with you on today's edition of Let's Talk Business Growth Live. If this was helpful to you, I'd love to hear your feedback below. And I ask you to comment below, I forgot what my call to action was, but share with me Oh, I think I know, I remember. Share with me what it is that you think I do. What is one result that you believe that I can help my clients to achieve? What is one result that you believe I can help my clients to achieve? Go ahead and comment below with your answer. I look forward to reading those and I will see you on the next edition of Let's Talk business growth live. I'm Stephanie Treasure signing off. Bye.